Hey guys, today we'll tell you a little bit about the Stradman's extravagant lifestyle as a YouTuber. He might be living a supercar's dream right now, but how much do you know about his broke days? Fired, rejected, hungry James Condon, or the Stradman kept pushing for the sake of his dream, and he got it. Buckle your seatbelt as we take you on a ride across the Stradman's early life struggles and eventual success. Ten years, if you look at it closely, is a pretty impressive time to achieve over 3.6 million subscribers and almost a billion views. I'll tell you this guy's secrets. Consistency and determination. The Stradman posts about two to three videos weekly to give his fans a strong sense of familiarity, and it works great for him. But before we deep dive into the Stradman's success story, let's take you back to the days when he could barely put food on his table. He has a playlist titled, Who Am I?, that gives you exclusive insight into his past life. Firstly, James Condon was homeless for roughly 58 days in Beverly Hills, California. In a video titled, That Time I Was Homeless for 58 Days, he started off by telling a story of how his life went after college. Graduating from Oregon State University and moving out to Park City, Utah, he got a regular job at Montage Deer Valley that paid him 17 bucks an hour. James Condon quit his first post-college job after a year because the man was being underpaid, plus he was the guy who did way more work but got paid way less. It was far from his dream job, so he quit. He quit his job instantly without any backup and kinda regretted it afterwards, but he turned out okay after all, didn't he? He advised not to march into your boss's office to make demands unless you've got a strong backup. The 23-year-old James quickly lost a bunch of things that made him comfortable, and his Audi TT became his new home. It was around this time he started his YouTube channel, and he had the craziest plan to make money. His genius plan was to film the supercars driving around Beverly Hills for his YouTube channel. He revealed his lifestyle at this point to be super boring. At the start of the new adventure, he wasn't getting the proper nutrition his body needed. He went to the store, got a loaf of bread, some peanut butter jelly, and an off-brand soda. Wonder where he slept? Uh, he'd sleep in the driver's seat for one reason, to drive off instantly in case some random person complains about his lifestyle. Sleep, eat bread and soda, film supercars all day, rinse and repeat. That was his new normal. Credit to McDonald's that gave him an opportunity to edit the videos and upload them after he was done filming. Slow Wi-Fi was better than no Wi-Fi, so he couldn't complain. All hell broke loose when he trusted Audi broke down as soon as he was about to retire for the night. There he was, broke and tired at McDonald's parking lot. He had the option to reach out to mom and dad, but he wanted to fix this mess himself. It turned out the problem with his Audi was the fuel pump, and he fixed it with what little money he had left in his bank account and got rolling once again. It didn't take long for our man James to realize that being a full-time YouTuber wasn't the way forward at the moment. He was earning roughly $5 per day from Google AdSense and $35 a week was not cutting it. So he went back to the drawing board to reevaluate his life and what he'd do from there. Off he went to Bend, Oregon to work at a hotel. To keep his head above water, he'd agreed to the graveyard shift 11pm to 7am. At this point, he had no friends, he didn't earn much, he was lonely at work, he was just at rock bottom because that was far from his dream job. And what's worse? He earned less than what he got at his previous job at $14 an hour. This time, he was determined to do things correctly. He started putting money away and saving. He saved just enough money to get him to rallies to film the clips he needed to make $10 a day from his YouTube channel. The Gumball 3000 is one of the many rallies James attended, and it gave him good insight into what he needs in his YouTube career. Telling his story in a video titled, The Story of Living in My Car to Buy a Lamborghini Aventador, he said, I guess sometimes in life, if you want something bad enough, you're willing to sleep in the trunk of your rental car. He applied for a bunch of new jobs in his night shift, and that was when he met Nick. Before we tell you how Nick changed James' life, please support us by liking this video and subscribing to your favorite channel. You can also leave a comment on which car YouTuber you would like to see us talk about next. Nick offered him a $45,000 to $50,000 a year salary. This was a huge upgrade from where he was and James gladly accepted. Because of the lessons he'd learned from being poor and homeless, his ability to save shot through the roof. He saved a large portion of his salary and kept his YouTube dream alive by buying his first Lamborghini two years after his financial crisis. 
25 year old James Condon was now the proud owner of a 2006 Lamborghini Gallardo. His dream was starting to take shape. People called him crazy for not securing his financial future and getting a house or something, but he was investing in a bigger dream. Look guys, if you want to live to your full potential, take calculated risks and make smart decisions. Be like the Stradman. After buying the Lambo, James couldn't afford a hotel room and camped at Walmart. His big YouTube break came when he made a video titled Lamborghini at age 26. What I do for a living to afford a Lamborghini Gallardo. He narrated his life story and that hooked the attention of over 4 million people. Who is this guy? That was the question in the minds of curious people interested in what James Condon had to say. He kept working at the company that paid him well, but in April 2015 he got laid off because the company went bankrupt. He stayed with Nick for some years after purchasing the Lamborghini and went all out for his passion. Skydiving, touring Dubai, climbing the Great Wall of China, you name it. James spent the extra mile for his passion and it paid off big time guys. He didn't just become famous on YouTube, but he also extended that fame to other social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram, where he gets paid for ad promos and affiliate marketing. Everything contributed to his fortune estimated to be around $3 million today. Since his rise to fame, the Stradman has featured other YouTube celebrities and their channels in the automotive niche like Shmi150 who we've also discussed in our previous videos, royalty exotic cars, vehicle virgins, and several other big names in the biz. He also shot videos around some of the world's most fancy locations like Italy, Dubai, Turkey, etc, etc. What started as a YouTube nickname coined from his admiration of the 2004 Ferrari Challenge Stradale has now evolved into a global brand. Some of the cars that have been in and out of the Stradman's collection includes the Nissan GTR worth around $100,000, the Ferrari 458 worth over $200,000, and of course the Lamborghini Aventador Roadster worth well over $300,000, as well as several others. His viewer tally shot to the moon once he started making some crazy purchases in the hypercar market. His best video to date is titled Opening Up the Pagani Huayra featuring the $2.5 million Ferrari F60 America. The video has an amazing 12 million views currently. The Stradman style of vlogging made him so unique and attractive that people couldn't resist clicking on his videos. He would record crazy reactions to his cars, give a detailed briefing about the features of a supercar. In fact, it seemed like you owned the car. Another element that played a key part in his success was his motivational story. As long as people relate to that story, they'll always enjoy watching the Stradman living their dream and hoping that they'd live that dream themselves one day. He also makes his content more relatable by sharing his personal life when needed, like showing off his dad, his friends, his girlfriend, even his dog. It also helps that his energy is irresistible. James' newest project is his dream mansion. You can see regular updates of it as he shapes it into reality. The life of Stradman is nothing short of amazing, similar to one of his fellow car enthusiasts, Shmi150.